Hi there, my name's Chris with Packet Pioneer, and today I wanted to talk to you about this handy network device designed for packet capture and analysis, the IOTA from ProfitTap. But where does the ProfitTap really fit in as a capture device, and how can I optimize its capabilities? Let's see how. Now in most environments, when we're talking about packet capture, we have two major options. The first one is Wireshark or a software protocol analyzer on a laptop. And as we can see here, that does a pretty good job between endpoints and data centers of collecting traffic, but we know that it definitely has its limitations. Wireshark and a laptop simply can't keep up with high data rates. So anything really past 100 megabits per second, and we'll start to see data loss, and we'll definitely see some problems with the laptop keeping up with the data transfer. Now another option that we have are really expensive devices. So these are our, our high-end chassis packet capture devices that have petabytes worth of storage. It can do it at 40 gig and beyond line rate. However, they come with a pretty hefty price tag. Now really the IOTA from its inception was designed to bridge the gap between those two extremes, where we don't have a free analyzer on an unknown piece of hardware that misses data, but we're not paying so much to get every single packet at 100 gig. In most environments, we simply don't have that much data to capture. Now, where was the IOTA designed to sit? At the client end or the server end? Well, it definitely was not designed to sit directly in front of a database or in front of a load balancer where it sees hundreds of thousands of devices coming into a data center. That really wasn't the design idea behind the IOTA. Rather, it was designed to sit at a remote office or at a key exit point on the client side before the ISP. So not necessarily to monitor an individual client, but to take several clients, maybe from a part of a building or from a whole campus, and watch that data before it goes out to the cloud or across to the data center. Really, that key capture point can help us to keep a handle on how end users are performing in terms of the applications that they're accessing and on the security of our environment. Now one huge advantage for the IOTA of being at this vantage point is it's a great way to monitor performance and security as we migrate from a data center to the cloud. Yes, as applications move from a data center that we operate, own, and control to an unknown cloud environment, we can keep an eye on performance. We can watch those users and make sure that they have optimal performance for the applications that they need to continue to do their work. This vantage point as well helps us to keep an eye on security, to watch for any unusual behavior or any signs of data compromise. So the IOTA was designed as a great tool to really give us the hardware benefits of a hardware-based analyzer without breaking the bank. But we want to make sure that we're using it the way it was designed to be used, not in the data center in front of our database where we're having 100 gigabit connections. Rather, it was designed to sit closer to the client side where we can watchdog security and performance even as we're migrating to the cloud.